Hello students, welcome back. Uh, in the previous part, we have learned about determinants. Uh, the, today, we will be learning about uh, inverse of a matrix. Now, we will be moving forward towards the operations uh, on matrices, that how matrices are used and calculated. So, let's get started. The topic is inverse of a matrix. Okay. Now, for a square matrix A, the inverse is written as A inverse where a is multiplied by a inverse the result is the identity matrix i non square matrices do not have inverses now when we are talking about inverses inverses is only calculated for a square matrix it's not calculated for a non square matrix a non square matrix means it will be a rectangular matrix okay a square matrix is those are those matrices that have same rows and same columns so this is how this is the way you represent um, a inverse a v minus one it's, it's written as a inverse it's pronounced as a inverse now the thing written out here when multiplied by when a multiplied by a inverse the result is the identity matrix that actually means that let's say we have a matrix a okay and you find out it's an inverse that is a inverse if we multiply a and a inverse together we need to get a identity matrix let's say if we don't get any identity matrix in result that means that uh, the inverse is calculated wrong the calculation done in inverse is not correct okay so let's this is symbolically the representations okay now the methods of finding inverses okay the method we are going to discuss are a joint method gauss jordan method okay so these were the two methods that we are going to discuss uh, discuss how to find inverses using these two methods okay so first of all we will be um, learning how to find inverse of a matrix by a joint method okay now i've out here i've taken a two by two matrix a two by two matrix means a two row and two column matrix okay so that matrix a has elements three minus one four and six now this is basically the main formula for finding out the inverse okay when we are specially doing it with the help of adjoint method now the formula for a inverse is adjoint of a divided by now this symbol we are very familiar with it it's known as the determinant of that matrix now out here i need to tell you this that previously when i was talking about the determinants should not be equal to zero if there is there's a non singular matrix sorry if there's a singular matrix we're not going to proceed further now this is the main reason out here let's say if the determinant of this particular matrix is zero so anything divided by zero tends to infinity and we do usually don't proceed further when there is zero in the denominator okay so whenever we are doing any some sort of calculation we need to make sure that the denominator should not be equal to zero it should be any number but not zero okay because anything divided by zero is equals to infinity okay now first of all we need to find out its determinant as i said earlier that um, while we were doing determinants as well that we need to calculate determinant whenever we are doing further calculations okay so out here the first thing that we are going to do is to find out its determinant um, let's say if the determinant is zero then we don't need to calculate the adjoint and finding out the inverse and all okay so first thing is that you need to know that determinant is a non singular matrix it's a uh, determinant is not equals to zero okay so uh, determinant now how to calculate the determinant um, determinant is that we just cross multiply these product minus in between and we multiply these two product these two elements in cross right so 3 multiply by 6 minus in between minus 1 multiply by 4 okay so 3 6 are 18 okay minus into minus gives us plus and 1 into 4 is 4 so 18 plus 4 is equals to 22 now since it is a non singular matrix that means we can proceed further uh, to find out uh, inverse of a matrix okay now first of all adjoint of a now how to calculate the adjoint of a when you're dealing especially with a two by two matrix that is a two row two column matrix for adjoint of a matrix what we used to do now 
See, this was my main matrix, right? The elements were 3, minus 1, 4 and 6. Now, when we need to find out a joint of a 2 by 2 matrix, the method is that you are going to swap the position of these uh, principal axes, okay? So, 3 was initially at this position, that is first row, first column and 6 was at uh, second row, second column. You are going to swap its position, now it will be 6 and 3. Initially, it was 3, 6, now it will be 6 and 3. And what we are going to do further with the off diagonal elements, we will be changing its sign. Let's say now this was minus 1. So for a joint of A, this will be plus 1. Okay. This was plus 4. For a joint, it will be minus 4. So let's just, just go through it again. That if we need to find out the determinant, uh, sorry, if we need to find out the adjoint of a 2 by 2 matrix, now this method applies only for 2 by 2 matrix, that is a 2 row, 2 column matrix. What we do is that this is my main matrix, okay? I'm going to swap the position for diagonal elements, that is 3 and 6. For adjoint, it will be 6 and 3. And for the off diagonal elements, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change its sign. Now, initially it was minus 1 in my adjoint A, it will be plus 1. This was plus 4 in my add joint it will be minus 4 that that is how you calculate a joint of a since we have calculated a joint of a and we have also calculated determinant of a so now what we are going to do we are going to substitute these two things in this formula okay so that is how you do it okay you write it like this or you just divide it by 22 both mean same okay now see we have um, learned in operations uh, related to matrices that if any scalar multiply with a matrix, what happens? Okay, so that particular scalar multiply with every element of the matrix. So this scalar, this is a scalar quantity is multiplied by all the elements. Now you divide it by 22 like this or you just write it down by 1 by 22, both means same, right? So 6 divided by 22, 1 divided by 22, minus 4 divided by 22, 3 divided by 22. As you can see, the formula we have was a joint of A, that means this matrix divided by the determinant of A. That means, you are going to divide each and element of this matrix by A. You are going to divide each and every element of this matrix by its determinant. Okay, so what we did out here, that 6 divided by 22. Now what I've done here is that I've just simplified it. 6 by 22 is 3 by 11. 1 by 22 minus 4 by 22 is minus 2 by 11. 3 by 22 is 3 by 2 as it is. Okay, so this was my final answer. Moving on, the property that I told you earlier that if we need to check that our determinant is right or not, what we are going to do is that if you multiply inverse with its own matrix, the inverse that is this was my initial matrix, matrix A and this was the inverse that I calculated. Now what I am going to do is that if I multiply these two matrices, the result will be an identity matrix and that is somehow you can say the clarification for uh, our inverse that is correct. Uh, that. Um, we just multiply A by A inverse is basically a property that if you multiply A with A inverse, the result should be an identity matrix. If the result is not an identity matrix, that means the inverse that you have calculated is not correct. Okay, so as you can see out here, I have just multiplied matrices. Now how to multiply two matrices, I have explained it earlier. I am just going to give it a rapid uh, um, go through that what we do is we multiply row by columns okay so that row into column is the multiplication rule for matrices first row with first column first row with second column second row with first column second row with second column okay so this is how you multiply a matrix that is 3 multiplied by 3 by 11 the sign in between is plus minus 1 multiplied by minus 2 by 11 so this will be my first element then 3 multiplied by 1 by um, 
थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन बाय ट्वेंटी टू ओके दिस इज वन थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन बाय ट्वेंटी टू आई डन आ मिस्टेक है इट्स ट्वेंटी टू थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन बाय ट्वेंटी टू प्लस माइनस वन मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री बाय ट्वेंटी टू ओके सो सेम गोज फॉर सेकेंड रो फर्स्ट कॉलम दिस आर द मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड इफ यू जस्ट सिंप्लीफाई इट यू गेट एन आइडेंटिटी मीटर्स ओके सो विच वेरीफाइड दैट द इनवर्स दैट वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड इज करेक्ट मूविंग ऑन नाउ यू गोन टेक एन एग्जाम्पल दैट हैज थ्री रोज अ स्क्वेयर मीटर्स ऑफ थ्री रोज एंड थ्री कॉलम सो यू कैन से स्क्वेयर मीटर्स ऑफ ऑर्डर थ्री ओके ऑर्डर थ्री मीन्स थ्री रोज थ्री कॉलम्स राइट सो द फॉर्मूला रिमेन सेम फॉर बोथ ओके इट्स ए इन वर्स इज इक्व टू ए जॉइंट ऑफ ए डिवाइडेड बाई डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ए नाउ वॉट आई हैव डन हेयर हेज आई ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड its uh, determinant which is equals to 31 now i want you all to calculate its determinant on your own and verify this that is it um, the determinant of a 3 by 3 meters is 31 or not okay now how to calculate determinant is this is what something i have explained in my previous part so you can go and check there how to calculate a determinant since it is a non singular matrix that means you can move further we can proceed with the red joint further okay now how to calculate the adjoint of a 3 by 3 matrix now we have seen um calculating adjoint of a 2 by 2 matrix is comparatively easy okay we just need to swap the diagonal positions and we just need to change the signs of of diagonal elements but for 3 by 3 for 3 by 3 matrix adjoint is um you know is it's different uh, it's calculated differently now how it is calculated okay so first step is that we need to find out the cofactors of a cofactors means that all the elements uh, involved in a matrix okay so we need to find out each and every factor of that a okay now we know we know that a matrix a that was a 3 by 3 matrix has nine elements in total so there will be nine cofactors now how to calculate that factor okay the first first thing is that we need to calculate a11 so 11 means what 11 means first row and first column okay is equals to now here you can see i have written a sign plus now what you can do is that you can go alternative we'll we'll go alternative sign okay see this was my initial matrix okay for a11 plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus so this is how we go alternatively when we when we are dealing with signs and a joint okay now for cofactors as it says first row first column a11 when we are deal we are finding cofactor for this ele this uh, element first row first column that means we need to hide first row first column and this is my remaining elements which is now converted in 2 by 2 matrix okay see these are the cofactors now how i get this minus 1 is like uh, finding out the determinant okay so it's like 2 into 2 4 minus in between 5 into 1 minus 1 okay now let's calculated for a12 for a12 means you need to hide first row and first column second column remaining elements will be 0 1 minus 4 what we have done here is that we just multiply these two elements with these two elements the remaining i got is 4 4 and minus why minus because this minus is multiplied with this number now we're going to do it the same thing with the a13 now first row third column hide all the elements of first row and third column the remaining elements will be the cofactor for a13 now 0 into 5 is 0 positive 2 into minus 4 is positive 8 positive into positive is positive now for this a21 minus 2 into 2 that is minus 4 Sign in between will be minus three five zero fifteen minus four minus fifteen is minus nineteen and this minus is also multiplied with this number so minus into minus plus a two two one into two minus 
थ्री इंटू माइनस फोर दैट इज माइनस ट्वेल्व सो टू माइनस माइनस प्लस टू प्लस ट्वेल्व इज फोर्टीन प्लस इंटू प्लस इज प्लस सो एज यूर डूइंग द सेम थिंग विथ ए टू थ्री दैट इज वन इंटू फाइव इज फाइव टू थ्री मीन्स सेकेंड रो थर्ड कॉलम वन इंटू फाइव फाइव माइनस माइनस प्लस फोर टू जो एट सो फाइव माइनस एट इज माइनस थ्री एंड सिंस माइनस इज मल्टीप्लाइड विद माइनस थ्री सो माइनस माइनस कैंसिल द रिजल्ट इज पॉजिटिव थ्री गॉन डू द सेम थिंग फॉर ए थ्री वन ए थ्री टू एंड ए थ्री थ्री सो दीज आर द रिजल्ट एंड वी गॉट बाय द एंड सो ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज दैट द सेकेंड स्टेप फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग एट जॉइंट इज द मोमेंट यू गेट ऑल दीज नंबर्स दैट इज ओके दिस टू वन टू 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 थ्री थ्री वन थ्री टू थ्री थ्री द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट यू नो प्लेस ऑल दीज नंबर इन देर ओन पोजिशंस लाइक फॉर माइनस वन फॉर ए वन वन द रिजल्ट वॉज माइनस वन हेयर इज माइनस वन ए टू टू ए वन टू माइनस फोर ए वन थ्री एट एंड सो ऑन ओके नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज द मोमेंट यू प्लेस ऑल दीज नंबर एट इट्स पोजिशन यू कैन टेक इट्स ट्रांसपोज ओके यू कैन टेक द ट्रांसपोज इट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट दैट यू नीड टू टेक ट्रांसपोज आफ्टर यू जस्ट प्लग इन ऑल द को फैक्टर्स ओके सो when i take the transpose now what exactly transpose is transpose is basically converting rows into column okay so this was initially my first row now it will be my first column this is my second row it will be my second column this is my third row now it will be my third column 1 see minus 1 minus 4 8 minus 1 minus 4 8 it's now converted into my first column okay the next and final step is what i have done out here that i have divided every element of this i've just substituted everything which i have calculated into the formula that is a inverse is equals to adjoint of a divided by determinant of a and at the end what i have done here just i've divided each and every element of this particular matrix with 31 so this is what the final answer that i got Now for verification, what I'm going to do is then I'm going to multiply a with a inverse. Okay, so multiplication rules is same. You just multiply row with column, row with column, first row, third column, then second row, first column, second row, second column, second row, third column, third row, first column, third row, second column, third row, third column. Now this is how you multiply it and you just verify your answer.